Hi, have you ever wondered why the 4th fret harmonic on the E string doesn't match the G sharp on the 3rd string or the 1st string? What about the 4th fret harmonic on the A string with the C sharp on the 2nd string? Or the 4th fret harmonic on the D string with the F sharp on the 1st string? The reason for this problem is the unnatural tuning system of all guitars and pianos in the world. This tuning is called 12 tone equal temperament and it's based on 12 half tones per octave. Why is this system unnatural? It's because it's not based on the natural harmonic series. What is the harmonic series? Since the beginning of life on planet Earth, every sound that can be heard consists of several resonating tones. For example, when you play a string, the sounds that's produced is made of these natural harmonics. The main problem of our halftone guitar frets or halftone piano keys is that the sounds that they produce are different from the natural harmonics which are higher or lower microtones. This is why the 4th fret harmonic on the A string doesn't match the C sharp on the 2nd string. The natural harmonic is lower than the halftone. How can we fix this problem and play natural major thirds on the guitar? Since 2014, I've been using additional small frets to produce microtones so that I can play natural intervals on my guitar. If you want to know how to get and tape these small frets, please watch my video entitled Edit Frets on Guitar. Let's tape this fret on the second string C sharp approximately 4 mm to the left of the fret wire and check it with the harmonic on the 5th string. And so here is the natural A major chord. Why do we need to add this fret and make the C sharp lower? Because it will be more resonant than the A major chord we've been playing for hundreds of years. I can demonstrate this by playing the new C sharp and stopping it immediately. I suggest you listen to this with headphones so that it's very clear. As you can hear, it vibrates to open A strings 4th fret harmonic and when played together they sound richer. If I remove the small fret and do the same thing, it doesn't vibrate the harmonic on the open A string because they are different. If I tape a longer fret, I'll obtain the natural major third of D and now I can play natural A major and D major chords.
Now let me tape one more fret to the G sharp on the third string so that I can play natural E major chord. Now we have three natural major chords in the key of A major. If you think that there is no difference between the standard guitar and this guitar with added frets, please listen to these notes and see if you can hear the difference. Let's try this with a song that everybody knows. Let's try this on Malaguena. Let's try this on Twist and Shout. So I am inviting all the guitarists of the world to improve their major thirds on their guitars and play the natural ones whenever possible. Visit me or come to my concerts for free frets. You can also order frets from the Microtonal Guitar Pioneer John Schneider's website fretlet.com. Please send your videos of you playing your guitars using natural intervals and I'll share them on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.